Okay. I want to save the durability on our pitchfork for more direct confrontations, so we'll let the bleed kill him. Very good. All right, our first zombie kill of Season 2 of Undead Legacy. I'm so proud of myself. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and um, in on in in on. Yeah, I'm on the roof. But in this episode, <laughs> our plan is to try and find a uh, a permanent base location. Well, when I say permanent, I mean an, an initial base location. Um, this spot's not terrible, but it's a little bit far away from the trader. So uh, what I've basically done is loaded everything up. Uh, and we're still, you know, we still are not totally encumbered, so we're good to go there. We've got everything on us, uh, including uh, our bedroll, which we should be putting down here. Uh, our carpenter's table, all the stuff I've looted so far. Um, we had an uneventful night and just kind of hung out on the roof and stayed as quiet as possible. But I did, however, make um, some more frames. I had that iron, if you recall, so I turned that into nails and then made more frames. So now we have 10 frames uh, to use. Why don't we also pick this up? I, I did, oh, it needs to be repaired. Um, I did read through some of the journal notes for Undead Legacy. Uh, I didn't get to all of them, but I did read through some of those. Uh, so uh, how do I repair this? Do I have to use the repair hammer? Let's put the repair hammer here. That does more damage to, oh, no, right click. Okay. Right click repairs, left click damages. Gotcha. Okay, now we should be able to pick this up. Um, let's also pick this up. And, you know, we actually can pick these up. Uh, you have to just do it from the radio menu. I was talking about that yesterday. Uh, just to give us some, you know, some stuff to store things in until we can make better storage. And we might as well do the same thing with this too. Okay, so we're still at 92.6, so we're good to go. Now, uh, we need to get out of here without getting eaten. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's the first order of business. Uh, Trader doesn't open, of course, until 6 a.m., and it is uh, almost 5 a.m. at this point. So let's just kind of hop down here. You know what we're going to do? Let's throw a rock over here. Unfortunately, Edgar sauce. So let's back off a bit. Wait for him to relax. Oh, okay. So he went off over towards the rock too. Let's throw another one to get their attention. And then we're going to jump down here. Uh, there's a zombie right on the other side of the fence there. This isn't good. Oh, he tagged us too. Crap. Okay. It <laughs> We're off to a wonderful start this morning. Okay, let's just start running towards the trader. There are zombies all over the place. Uh, when my stamina gets to the point where it's almost out, we're going to have to drop our bedroll because I don't think I'm going to get away from these guys. Man, there are zombies all over the place. Well, actually... Maybe we can get away from him. Here, drink this first stamina boost. Quick, 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 quick. All right. We managed to evade him. Whew. That was a little hairy scary. Um, all right, so uh, we can't get into the trader quite yet, of course, because it's not open. Um, we can't. We should be able to finish the quest, though, just if we get close enough to it. I'm, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got the quest done. Well, that part of it. We got to talk to the trader now. All right, now I'd like to live, like I said, close to the trader. Um, so we have to decide where that uh, particular place is going to be. Let's also collect some stones. And we need to circle back and get our bedroll at some point, too. 
because I can't just simply make another one like you can in vanilla, so it's pretty valuable to us. Uh, but, you know, I, at that the point that I put it down, I wasn't sure if we were clear yet. So, uh, so let's just walk around out here for a bit, look for a few stones so we can always have those on our inventory for distracting the Zika Roos, because that's our best defense at this moment until we can, you know, c come up with a better way of defending ourselves. All right, so let's just kind of look around here for stones. Uh, or if we can find a boulder, looks like there's a boulder over here. We can just break some more up. There's a Zombo over that way. Here's a boulder. Uh, let's loot this too. Can we pick bird's nests up? No, we can't. Okay. We're going to need to uh, also repair our stone tools, so we have to make a couple repair kits. All right. Are we clear in this immediate vicinity? We got a Zeke there. But I think we're safe to get this stone. All right. What do we need to make the repair kits? Uh, looks like we have everything. How many can I make? Two? Yeah, let's make two. And uh, that way we can repair both our axe and our pick when the time comes. Um, we're still at 93.9, so we're good. Uh, we used a couple of our stones to do that, so let's keep looking around. Actually, let's check this stump. And we'll keep looting these as well. We got some honeycomb. A bottle of honey or a jar of honey crafted in the campfire. So we need five of these to make honey. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, let's go back this way. It's 6 a.m. The trader's going to open up. Um, and see if we can get our bag, our bedroll rather. And then we're going to kind of look over to the north of the trader and see what our options are. All right. We got Bo there. We don't want to mess with him. Let's see if we can get him to go this way. See you, sucker. Got another bow down there. Okay, let's go around the back of the crack book. a sleeper in there. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly where where we're gonna base up. I just have to see what's available and then we'll make that decision. Sounds like there's somebody right through there. Okay. Man, the early game, I'll tell you what. Very scary. Okay, we got a biker and a darling. Let's send them packing down that way. And a bow. Come on, guys. Get the hell out of here so I can get my bag. All right, maybe... We can send them this way. Okay. No, come on. Go. Leave. You don't want to be around here. You want to follow the stone. There you go. Good zombies. All right, let's grab this really quick. And get back over this way. We'll just stay crouched till we kind of get around the corner here. You know, one of the things I really like about this mod is that the crafting is more realistic. And in some ways, you know, I guess you could see that as kind of a pain in the butt, but... I don't know, it just makes it makes everything more satisfying. Alright, we 
got businessman over there. Let's send him packing this way. He didn't he didn't take the bait. Then we're out of stones. Okay. Ugh. This is tough. All right, there's this house here as a po possibility. Let's go around a corner here. It's got a fence. There's also this place here right behind the trader. I don't know how strong that material is, though. I'm thinking it's probably not that strong, but I don't know. Maybe it's at least as strong as the... Oh, look at that. There's an ambulance there. Uh, there's also this water tank thing. But here again, I think some of the metal blocks in this game are like only 300 hit points. They're not... Oh, shit. They're not very strong at all, so... It'd be nice to have, have a fixer-upper, too. Alright, I don't know if we're going to be able to outrun, outrun Darlene or not. Did Subquick slow some of these zombos down? Because I can't usually outrun Darling in what you know on nightmare speed. Wonder if he did. I don't know. Let's leave the bedroll where it is for the moment because it's right by the the trader now. Um, alright, so let's go back this way. Yeah, we definitely outran her. Man, okay. I'm not complaining about that. I mean, if we can outrun him, let's do it. Okay, we need some stones. Let's get some stones first. We don't want to go over there, of course. That's bad juju. Bad, bad, bad juju. It's kind of nice that we're close to it, though, because when the time comes that we can go over there, um, there are resources that we can certainly get from that place. But going over there right now is not a good idea. All right, let's go this way. I guess what I'll do is I'll hit some more boulders so we can replenish our stone. Just making sure there's nobody else around. Doesn't appear to be. All right, let's move over this way. What I want to do is go back around in there and just kind of, again, look at those buildings close to the base. Also, we're hungry. Can we eat these raw? You feel sick to your stomach and have diarrhea. Wonderful. That's what we needed. Well, couldn't do much about that. So we got to deal with that for oh, who knows how many minutes, five minutes maybe, which is going to tank our stamina. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go back over this way. We got a nice little pile of stones. Well, we got 16 stones anyways. There's a lot of zombos kind of just in the general vicinity of the trader. But I want to look over here, here. Like that house there might work for us. Pretty close to the trader. There's an Edgar right there. Okay. Yeah, that didn't send him packing very far, did it? Okay, come on, boys. Down the road. Down the road with you. There we go. Sneaking skill has improved. You know what I should have done while I was just sitting on the roof last night, not doing a whole lot of anything, was just snuck around. I bet I would have 
got a couple more points in my skill there. I just didn't think about it at the time. Uh, all right, so this house is a potential fixer upper for us. It's gonna take <laughs> it's gonna take some work, but it is. Uh, yeah, I think this is the burned house, isn't it? I think this is the burned house. We could even start by just living in the garage and then eventually working towards the uh, the house. Because um, I think you get into... We'd even have a little light source there. I think you get into the house from here, don't you? Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember. We got ourselves a little yard here that we could fix up. All the fixing up on that house would get us a lot of XP too. So this is definitely a possibility. Does this door work? It does. Yeah, I mean, why don't we start here and we'll fix this place up first. And then we'll move to, you know, slowly or gradually move to the house and get it fixed up. We even have some storage here, too. So I think that's what we're going to do. All right. So what that means is we want to um, barricade this off. See, if I put this down, that only gives me four. I want to go get the get our bedroll first. So let's do that before we do anything else. And then, of course, we're going to need to get that stuff, uh, these blocks upgraded. And we'll put a, a barricade in front of that door, too. And we have to get, you know, get these walls patched up, particularly any place where they could. Oh, look, there's even a workbench in here uh, that they could get through. Okay, well, first thing is, let's go get our bedroll. And we have some stuff stashed at the trader that we need to go get as well. You know, actually, before we commit to this, I just want to look up here real quick. There any zombos up here? Oh, there's a, a hatch. Oh, yeah, there's zombos up here. All right. Uh, let's, let's just go back down. There's two zombies up here. I'm pretty sure this is the weaker 300 hit point metal, but I don't want to bang on it right now and wake wake up those sleepers or attract attention. All right, so we got Skater Punk over here. Let's sit and him pack in that direction. And we got Yo Zombie there. Hello. There's, I noticed there, he had a setting in the options that made menus and stuff work faster but it required more system memory or something like that. I'm, I need to look into that. Okay. So what we're going to do is block that. And I probably need, yeah, wood planks to upgrade those. Okay, so let's just... Here, we need to repair this. Yeah, we're not going to really be able to do a whole lot until we get wood planks, huh? Crap, okay. Well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put stuff in here. And we need to get our, our carpenter bench down too. But stuff we don't need immediately we're going to put in here we're not wearing armor until we can wear like a full set of armor because it's just going to make noise and slow us down we'll put this other storage in there for the moment too that can go in there 
we want to keep that. We don't need the flashlight. This we're going to sell to the trader when we go over there. Uh, I ended up making a bone knife because the bone shivers actually does more damage than these knives do. So we'll just hang on to those for now, I guess. Uh, all of this stuff, this we should keep with us in case we find a water source. By the way, uh, in Undead Legacy, you cannot uh, get water from lakes and rivers and stuff like that. You have to get them from faucets and other water sources. That we should keep on us. This, I don't think we even need that. Let's just get rid of that. Those will keep on us. That will keep on us. We're not worried about un unlocking locked things right now. Um, so yeah, we'll keep the bobby pins in there. We want this. Uh, the nails. We want the vitamins. The sports bag will set down later. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I know. You're hungry. We got some firewood, some large stones. We'll keep the branch. Uh, we'll keep that too. Okay, so that's every everything in our inventory. Uh, we got this. So why don't we open this up? See, that's another thing of storage though. Okay, let's break this. Yeah, I know. We're thirsty. We're not in good shape. Well, you know what? Actually, keeping this as storage is not that big a deal. Let's just take it apart. Because I think we're going to need the room in the corner to put our thing down. All right. Now, we can put that there. Can we turn it the other way? No, it's going to take up three blocks. All right, let's set that down there. All right, come over here, dummy. He's trying to break through the fence. Let's get his attention over here. Well, you're not that fast. Alright, let's see if we can kill this guy. That is not nightmare speed. He must have changed it in UDL. We should be able to easily kill this guy as long as we don't attract a biker zombie like we did the last time. He's got seven seconds of bleed left. Let's just stay away from him. Just don't want to run into anybody else. Okay. I want to save the durability on our pitchfork for more direct confrontations, so we'll let the bleed kill him. Very good. All right, our first zombie kill of Season 2 of Undead Legacy. I'm so proud of myself. All right. Anyway. Um, what about you? Nice shooting there, Tex. Okay. He looks like he might be a little bit faster than the other guy was. Oh my goodness, the drop on this is incredible. Yeah, he is, but let's get a bleed on him. Let the bleed do the work. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out which Zeeks are the tough ones. Whoops, and which ones are... Uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not the tough ones. Which ones are the fast ones and which ones aren't? So Spider Zombie's not fast. This is, who is this? That's Yo, right? Yeah, Yo is fast. So we're gonna, he's dangerous. So we got to be careful of him. Uh, all right. That didn't go too terribly bad. Let's look in here while we're out here. Yeah, sure, we'll take all that stuff. And let's just get the paper and plastic from that we'll check the car this is a repairable car 
with some empty bottles. All right, let's go back home. There's a bag up here. I'm going to leave the bag itself there. Nice. This will be our first iron mine. All right. We got fat dude here. He should be slow, but he's going to take a million years to kill. And we got businessman. Businessman is usually pretty fast. He is in vanilla anyways. Let's send these guys going the other direction. Come on, dude. Chase the stone. You know you want to. Oh, he doesn't look that fast. All right. Subquake must have slowed him down. Let's send these guys packing a little further away. Ooh, Fatso looks faster faster than Vanilla. That's dangerous. <laughs> that guy hits like a Mack truck. Hmm, okay. Okay, back to this. So, um, what we want to do... I don't want anything outside of the the little base here that they could stand up on and climb up on. So let's just clear all this crap. We're getting some charcoal too, which is good, I think. I'm sure we can use it for something. Okay, here footsteps. Okay, let's put that down there. And I think that's... Is that just part of the... Oh, no. Yeah, that's just part of the the ground. Ah, all right. Now, next thing I think we want to do is get rid of this. I don't know if the whole thing will come up in one fell swoop or if we have to do it in single pieces. But we are getting wooden planks from it, so... Not a bad thing. All right, yeah, we're going to have to do it in single pieces. Um, All right, I think the next priority, we need to get a campfire going so we can cook some water and at least take care of our dehydration issue. The foods, that's a whole nother matter. <laughs> uh, so let's see, what do we need for a campfire? We need a total of 15 stones, and we got the sticks already. All right, let's just put... This here. Actually, I'm going to put that down there. We'll put all this stuff in here for now. We don't need to carry it around with us. I think we will keep the sticks, though. We wanted to sell those. Uh, this... Uh, I don't even think I'm going to use that. Let's just scrap it. I'm not a big spear fan in this game. Uh, we might as well loot the rest of these boxes, too. Just to see if there's anything... In it we could use like right now. Here comes Arlene. Alright, well we got some more containers, so that's always good. Okay, so let's see. S remove stack or stackable items. There we go. And then same here, and then we'll put this stuff in here. Okay, so we have five containers that we can fill with water, and we have, I thought we, oh yeah, we have some murky water here too, so we got to go get some stone to make a fireplace. Let's get Bo out of here. Okay, let's move out this way. So I think it said 15 stone, right? What we could do is start tearing down this big boulder as our stone source. It's already noon, my goodness. Yeah, businessman, he seems to be slower than he normally is, which is good. Good for us. 
I kind of don't want to be taking these guys on right now with my dysentery issues. There's nothing worse than fighting the zombie while you're crapping your pants. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, all right, here. You guys go back down that way. Let's start banging on this big boulder here. This is rough, man. <laughs> I can get like three hits in and then I run out of stamina. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, crap is the operative word here, isn't it? So does this big boulder not even give us little stone? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just giving us large stones. Uh, okay, repair this. Yeah, we're going to have to go after the smaller boulders, it looks like. Did I reload this weapon? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's very uh, um, unnerving, I guess is the word, to see that that's was as fast as he is. He is going to be exceedingly dangerous. Okay, <clears throat> we are able to craft our campfire now. Let's get a few more stones. What is the dysentery chance on this? 10%. Can you can you believe that? 10% chance and it hit us. <laughs> of course I can believe it. For goodness sakes. Okay, let's head back to our base here and get a campfire down and see if we can get some water at least. I don't know, it's almost an exercise in futility until the dysentery goes away. Because we could drink water and then just lose a bunch of it again. The problem, though, is that once our food and water gets all the way down, then we start losing health. So let's just fight it and try and do the best we can to uh, overcome it. I don't think, does this help with dysentery? To cure it cures fatigue. I don't think it cures dysentery, it just resists it. So that's not gonna help us now. Okay, so let's put our campfire down next to the other fire. Okay, now can we boil water without a pot? Let's grab... Uh, I think we can burn that stuff and I think we can burn that stuff. Oh, we should have some firewood though too, right? Yeah, right here. Okay. Put that in there. Oh, it does require a cooking pot. Okay, shoot. Required tool cooking pot. This can just be crafted right in the campfire straight up in a jar. So we need murky water for that. That's not the right kind of murky water. All right, recipes, murky water. So we just pour those into there. Craft it in backpack. Uh, oh, we're not in our backpack. We're, we're, we were in the fireplace. That's why I wasn't able to do it. Okay, so we'll turn those into murkies. And then we should be able to make those. Okay, it's going to take a little while, but we'll do it. All right, we'll put all that stuff in there for now. That 
that's where the big stone is. All right, for eggs, we're, I'm sure we can't make eggs until we have a cooking pot. Required tool cooking pot. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Well, I mean, we could we could risk the 10%. I mean, our food is so bad right now. Let's just do it. Okay, good. So we were able to eat both of those eggs without getting the dysentery refreshed. And uh, here, let's drink this. That just brought us back from the brink there. Okay. Okay, so we have... We have temporarily staved off our water situation, water and food situation. Um, it's still not good, though. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to go outside and, again, keep clearing all this stuff away from the edge. What? Edge of the building so they don't have anything to stand on. Plus, we get all the resources from this, too, so... Okay, that takes care of this outside part. We'll keep this last water on our toolbar. In case we need it for an emergency thing of stamina. Okay, so this outside is clear. And this outside is clear. Almost wonder, well, no, that's good. All right, let's leave that the way it is. Okay, I think our next order of business is to get some wood going so that we can make some boards so we can start doing some repairing. And let's see, what time is it? It's about 2, almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We should probably run over to the trader, get our, the other stuff there. See if we can sell a couple things and maybe buy some canned food. Let's do that next. This isn't doing us any good right now. That's not doing us any good right now. Uh, I don't think we want to really sell any of the rest of that stuff. Uh, we, better, we probably better keep the flashlight. Yeah, I don't really think any of the rest of this is stuff that we want to sell. Uh, but we could sell this, this, and this. And then let's put the rest of these things in here for now. And maybe we can come up with enough money to buy a can, some canned food out of the vending machine. In the meantime, we might as well turn this off. And then, you know, I'll work on getting the rest of that taken care of later. Okay, let's go. So we got a Ronnie McDonnie there. Oh, and a business guy. Okay, let's send them packing this way. Come on, man. He just does not want to do it. There he goes. Okay. Somebody else walking around over here, so. It's a nigger. Okay. Let's go along this way. We'll pick up a couple of these stones that we threw earlier. Let's not get the attention of a Y50. Okay. Let's 
to run around this way. Oh, I can't pick those up. Alright, ideally... I'd like to not get anybody's attention if we can help it. So we'll stay crouched. Yeah, I don't know. We put our stuff over there somewhere. We'll go we'll go grab it. Well, so much for not getting anybody's attention. There's a blood moon coming. We can't loot his thing. Alright, let's take a look at your inventory. And we want to sell you this and this and these two things. All right, that gets us 121 coin. Um, how much does this cost? It's... Where's the price? Can we buy it? Oh, nice. Wait, when I click on this, though, where's... Oh, it's down here. Okay. It was down here. Okay, nice. Well, there's our That's cooking right. pot. Do the math. Um... We might not be able to afford any food now, but hey, we got the cookie pot, so that's good because we can use it to make food. Uh, we actually can afford a chicken soup. We can't un afford the chicken ration, unfortunately. We're just a little bit shy. I don't. There's just nothing here I want to sell. All right, well, let's get the chicken soup. What's the sham? Yeah, that's 60 as well. All right, we'll buy that and eat it. And that's better than nothing. Better than nothing there. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know. I don't think we fully looted this place, actually. I don't have any... Oh, yeah. Here's what we do with this. So we grab these and fill. And that gave us three charges. Okay, cool. Now, let's come up to this sink. Oh, that looted the sink. No, we want to be looking at the faucet. Okay, this has two of three charges. And then we'll grab these. Nice. So, I mean, I, I think these will re refresh maybe after a day or something. So we can always come back here to get a little bit of water as needed. Okay. I think that... Oh, here, let's look at this. Commercial coffee maker. Oh, oh! look at that. Nice. Okay, that's going to be our emergency stamina. Very cool. And uh, let's look in here. Very cool. Let's just take that right now. We need it, man. Okay, good. So, uh, so we got the toilet. Oh, uh, look at this. He's blocked this off so we can't jack his safe anymore. That's funny. Now, did we check everything else in this place? I... I'm pretty sure we did. Did Yeah, we came up here early on. Yeah, okay. There's nothing else up here. Now, let's go over to our... Uh, we already looked in there. I think this is where we stored our other stuff. Yeah, okay. So let's grab all of this. Oh, you know what? We could we could sell some more of this to him. Carpenter's table, trash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let's just sell a few more things here. I don't know. Did we go all the way? I think hey. we're. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, water. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. We got a little more water. Take it. Let's go look over here. We got a couple boxes we could loot. Nice. Uh, collapsed chemistry bench. Ooh, that we're going to keep. We're going to turn that into cornbread. 
Okay, let's go back in. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I hope you didn't let the dead follow you here. They follow me here. All right, let's just sell stuff we don't need right now. Uh, so he doesn't want those. I'm not going to sell those. Can we sell these? We'll sell that. We'll sell these. Uh, we're not selling any ammo. Uh, I'm going to... I'll sell them the brass for now. I mean, I know it's useful. We're going to need it, but... We have higher priorities right at the moment. Will he take the plastic? Yes. All right, that gets us up to 302 coin. Beautiful. Nothing else there. Uh, yeah, we'll sell the spring. We'll, we'll be able to get those later. Thank God you're done browsing. All right, Next now we're going to buy this, and we're going to buy that, and we're going to buy that. Okay, and let's go ahead and eat all that stuff right now. Our dysentery is finally done too, so thank goodness for that. And eat that. Okay. Hey, we're uh, we're actually not in in terrible shape. Our food's coming up a little bit now, and our hydration's actually in really good shape. So there you go. All the rest of the stuff we're gonna take back to our base. Uh, we got a bunch of murky water that we can now. Um. Uh, cook up so hydration is no longer going to be a major problem we'll turn all of those into the jars oh you know what though i don't know we probably didn't need to do that now that we have the cooking pot and hey we have a cooking pot too all right let's get back to our base um easier said than done right uh, okay the last time we did this we kind of bailed off the side uh, so let's get back up here and assess the situation There's more stuff in here, too. We already looted all this stuff. Okay, so let's do this. Let's grab our stones. And if there's anybody right down this way... Well, that guy's looks like he's inside. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We got away. That's the important thing. That's that's a risky jump, though. <laughs> One of these types, I've got to come up there and sprain my leg. But there's nothing I can do about it because, you know, I can't. It's not like I can set any blocks down because it won't let you place anything, you know. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get back to our base. It is um, a little after 5 p.m. I'm not planning on spending the night inside this base until we get it a little more secure. So we're probably going to just nerd pull up onto that roof or, you know, somewhere else secure for the night. But uh, that trip to the trader uh, was something we definitely needed to do. So, all right, let's stack stuff in here. We're going to put the cooking pot in here oh that's great so um yeah we, so we can actually boil water directly in the plastic bottles now uh, that we have the cooking pot but let's go ahead and cook up the rest of the water that we currently have all right uh, we're going to turn this scrap iron into nails so we'll do that and didn't I already have some clay in one of these? Okay, we'll put the clay. Um, actually, here, let's put the ammo stuff in here. Uh, there's our ammo stuff. Uh, actually, we need to make some more nails with that stuff. And then I'm not super worried about being organized just quite yet. We will once we make our actual storage. Um, can I make cornmeal or do I have to have a special recipe? Or cornbread, rather. 
It looks like I need a recipe for it. All right. Well, in that case, we'll just hang on to the cornmeal for now. Okay. We're not in, not in too shabby a shape, guys. Not in too shabby a shape. Um, let's put the tokens in there for now. Um, so we're making nails here. I want to make some more arrows. Um, but, yeah, we're gonna, I need to go get a bunch of stone. Like, a bunch of stone. Because we also need to keep those stones for distracting Zeke's, too. But I think I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm going to spend the rest of today, and we're going to clear the rest of this stuff out. See if I can get some of this, uh, you know, reinforced. Um, and maybe even get a door going or something. And try and repair this little bit here. And then when night, uh, right before night falls, I'm just going to hop up on the roof here and spend the night on the roof because I doubt there's a way Zombos can get up there. Doesn't look like it. And then in the morning, we'll start the next episode and we'll do the next thing, which is continuing to survive. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.